Previously on Dance Moms. It's broken. Four to six weeks, she can't dance. No! I want Kendall and Mackenzie to get beat. I did not have an affair with my boss. Yes, you did! No, I did not! I'm giving you an opportunity and you're all over me. I was gonna tell you you're doing a solo and you're not. What are you guys gonna do for me? Win! Don't screw anything up. Go out there and beat them. They don't go to school. Shut up, because my daughter is smart. Don't tell me to shut up. Take your little technicolor ass and get out of here. Coming up on Dance Moms, this is the 2012 Abby Lee Dance Company concert. You're getting thrown to the wolves, woman. We're gonna chew you up and spit you out. Just be prepared. She wins every number you put her in. I don't know what else to do. You left. So we left. That's right. You Try always out. have excuses why your kids get what they get. Maddie, I asked you to do a solo. You said no. I'm giving this part to Chloe. You need AA meeting. Higher. Yeah. Don't uh, let the door hit. The oh, honey, you can't afford a door. That's the problem. Overall high score small group beating Kathy. 2012 Myrtle Beach top junior duo trio. I am very proud. Now, let me get to the pyramid. I'm going to start at the bottom. Paige, you're injured. You're there because you didn't dance. There's nothing really to judge you on. Next, Maddie. I asked you to do a solo. You said no. Maddie's doing a solo this weekend. It's too late in the game. I'm not doing, I'm sorry, Abby. People don't tell me no. That was an opportunity you missed. You know, I don't really know if it's fair to Maddie or not. All I know is our kids have been on the bottom of the pyramid for lesser sins than that. Next, Chloe. We wanted a clean sweep, a tenth of a point. The next time we come up against that kid, I want you to make mince meat out of him. Do you understand that? Next. Brooke, Brooke, we didn't get the bonnets till the last minute. Your job was to get that bonnet, put it on Maddie's head, and tie it. That was a crucial part of the routine. And you did it. And then, Mackenzie, not only did you beat a boy, you beat two boys. And on top of the pyramid again is Nia. Nia, it doesn't always have to do with the dancing and the performance. It has to do with all the other stuff that goes into it. Abby, Kendall deserves to be on that pyramid. OK, first of all, you have to understand, Kendall is here because she is replacing Paige. The minute Paige is ready to dance, Kendall's out of here. Well, you could have told me that three weeks ago before we started. Why? Once again, Joe got a little spicy with me. Why does she think she can just walk back into my dance studio and get her kid back on the competition team? You walked out, you went to my enemy, you're gonna have to beg, Jill. She wins every number you put her in, but she's not on the team. I don't know what else to do, honey. I'm sorry, because I would not have put you through this. Putting her through what? She just went to a competition and won her too much. She learned something, she was fabulous. She's a winner, but you still won't put her on the team. The team part, that's about commitment. And your mother's always ready to jump ship, just like she was just now, understood? I'm going to tell everybody in this room right now, I don't want any altercations. I don't want tears. I don't want screaming, yelling. This is a very big week. We are doing the 2012 Abby Lee Dance Company concert. It is not a competition, but it is equally important. This is our opportunity to showcase all of the dancers in the studio. They get to perform all of the routines that they've competed throughout the season. The concert is also a great opportunity for me to market my studio to the general public. Hey, I'm trying to get new students out of this. We are going to be doing a routine. The routine is called Light My Fire, and it's hip hop. This week, our group dance is hip hop, and I'm really excited, but none of us can hip or hop. Now, Paige, it's been weeks. I think that you are capable of performing in this hip hop routine. She has to get approved by the doctor first. Absolutely, but it's going to be with the boot on. I got strict instructions from the doctor that she is to do no dancing until four weeks. 
but we still have another week to go. Kelly, you're an original member of the Avenue Dance Company. I would like to see some of your classmates at the show. Thank God I haven't seen them in 20 some years. <laughs> I want those people to see that the Abby Lee Dance Company is alive and healthy and strong and continuing to educate children. Okay. Now, there's something else we're doing. There will be one person chosen from each age level to win a very generous cash scholarship. This is the very first time that the Abby Lee Dance Company Parents Association has been in the position to give out scholarships to continue their dance studies. All right, ladies, you're dismissed. Girls spread apart. I'm gonna start this number right now. One, two, three. I want everyone in the audience to realize that these girls can do it all. So my girls are going to be doing a hip hop routine. Whatever it takes, the Abby Lee Dance Company is a full service studio. And two and three and four and five and six and seven. My girls hate hip hop. Well, how do they know if they've never taken it? I love to watch Paige hip hop, though, I have to tell you. Paige, Paige is funny. She's she like is. a wet noodle out there. So who are you going to ask to come? I have no contacts with any of my alumni. There's so many people who hate Abby that won't come out. Like, I'm going to call them, and they're going to be like, why in the world are you calling me? If I can't get people to come, it's going to be my fault. And my kids are going to be put at the bottom of the pyramid once again for something I did. Why didn't she just call them? Teachers told me that the day you got that boot on, you were doing cartwheels, you were doing tents because you were trying to do front walkovers in it. I rode the bus home with you two weeks ago, and you were up and down and up and down and up and down that aisle the entire time for three hours. Do you like having a vacation and not dancing? I don't really look forward to recital time or concert Maybe. time. Oh, really? I love it. I find it to be an incredibly stressful and painful experience. <laughs> Me too. It's right up there. I think I'd rather have a root canal. The annual ALDC concert is exhausting. It's a time filled with highs and lows. We are all running on fumes. I can't get up. Come on. It's not fair to my child. She can have a duet and win and a group right. and be in a winning group and has nothing to do with her talent or her dancing. You left. So we left. That's right. You left. And we're so now you have to wait until it comes uh -huh. time for auditions again to audition again. Did your daughter leave the team to go try out for cheerleading? She didn't leave the team. She asked oh, permission Kelly, to you try always out. Have excuses why your kids get what they get. Going to a different studio, Jill, is totally different. No, it's not. Yes, it she is. went to a different and studio. She left for one week. You left for months. Well, it's not different. Hey, babe. Hey, you. How are you? What are you doing here? You know, I'm trying to come back. Why would you do that? Why would you put yourself through this? Well, it's not me. It's Kendall. Why? Doesn't matter. What's she going to get out of this? You know, when I started this studio, Kelly and Christy got to me. You have no idea what Melissa did to me. They're never going to accept you. And I don't like them, and I don't think you, know you like them. Who are you going to have on your side? You're going to be all by yourself. You're going to just have to defend yourself constantly and your daughter constantly. I couldn't tolerate them before. I'm not going to tolerate them now. Then why are you they here? Can, then what are you doing? I just For Kendall, this isn't about me. And it was for Peyton. It doesn't work. That's right. It's not going to work. When I saw Jill going into the studio, I thought it was fair that I would just forewarn Jill that these women will just chew, chew her up and spit her out. These women are brutal liars. It's not like Jill doesn't know these people. Christie's a snake. Melissa's a liar, and Kelly's a snake. Do you ever see their husbands around? They talk about their husbands like they don't even exist, or they don't want them to exist. Well, they probably don't want them to. Kelly exist. talks sexually about men, and it's pigs. I can't believe the words that are coming out of Leslie's mouth. Melissa might want to lose her friendships, her morals, her marriage for these women. You. you have no idea how, how it happened, do you? They what, the divorce? Yeah. Or... Okay, let me tell you. You ready for this one? It's the day before Halloween. Peyton and I are taking my nieces to Melissa's house to go trick-or-treating. And all of a sudden, Melissa comes out and goes, you know what, Leslie, I don't have any Halloween bags for the kids to go trick-or-treating. And I'm like, well, I have some. She, no, they like this certain kind. And I told them I'd go get them down at this pharmacy down here. I'm like, OK. So we get in the car, and we pass the pharmacy. And she looks at me and says, um, I want you to meet somebody. And I pull into this driveway, and there's this gentleman standing there. And she says, this is the man I'm in love with. Leslie's acting like a total immature baby. They're like high school bullies, you know? They have this fake relationship, 
in front of each other and behind their, each other's backs, they're talking about one another. Find another group for her to dance with. This isn't about me. I'm coming back to put my daughter in class. You're getting thrown to the wolves, woman. They are gonna chew you up and spit you out. Just be prepared. Somebody sent me tickets to Abby's recital. Now who would have sent these to us? Should we go? They invited us. It would be kind of funny, though, because, you know, some of you have never really been to other recitals to see how awful it is compared to ours. Since I've been invited to Abby's recital, I would like to bring some of my moms to come witness what thrown together is just to make money. And Rhonda can take notes on do's and don'ts of a bad recital. I can't imagine that her recital compares to ours. There's no way. Well, you put on a very good show, so. Not only am I, like, mystified as to who sent these, but I'm also laughing because they're paper printout tickets. We can sit and watch her boys and see how many PK turns they do. And it would be a quick laugh. I'm always up for a good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, don't you watch any videos? Big, no, bigger. This week rivals any dance competition. This is our 2012 annual dance concert. I expect you guys to bring something to the table. This show is so important to me. It's a combination of my entire year's work. My reputation is on the line. I'm trying to tell the whole city of Pittsburgh that you're great at hip hop, and I'm not seeing great at hip hop. Start again, and I want you to sizzle. I want you to burn rubber across that stage, and I'm not seeing it. Some of the students you're going Let's to go. see on stage at my dance concert, you will see tomorrow on a Broadway stage. So it's very important that I show the city of Pittsburgh and the surrounding areas what we have to offer. Is Paige really yeah. improving with her boot? This is... Shake your boot, Paige. <laughs> two, two, three, four, five. The doctors x-ray Paige's foot, and we were given permission from the doctor to walk. We were not given permission to dance. So my agreement with Abby was for Paige to do the dance from the waist up. Six, seven, eight, cross and hit. One of the reasons I chose hip hop was so that I could incorporate Paige. She can do all the upper body movement. She can hit all the isolations. I am disappointed. I want something new, something innovative, something clever. If you're not gonna look out on stage, I'll get somebody that will. Abby is insane. I have to say that our, you know, beautiful, graceful, lyrical dancers aren't exactly the typical hip hop prototypes. Peyton, is Peyton here? Come in here. Peyton is a longtime student at the studio. She is one of my best hip hop students. I'm teaching them a hip hop dance. The hey, star hey. of the show. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Well, who didn't know that was coming? Do you see the isolations? Hip hop. She's listening to what I'm saying, and she did it. And you guys stand there and giggle. Now, was she created to make them all feel badly mm -hmm. about themselves? Yeah, but that. But you're the ones that get to go away every weekend. You're the ones that get a new solo every weekend. Would you like to be in our hip hop dance for the show? Yes. All right. It just irritates me that, like, she's never been on our group and we did a dance that she's not good at. Now that Peyton's added to the hip hop routine, that just means that Leslie is one more addition to my week of hell. Two, three, four, and up, and exit. Breathe, stamina, Let's put the rocks out for trapped. These kids learn these dances sometimes in a day, and now they have to remember every dance they've done to perform in her dance concert. That's a lot to ask of these little girls. When we did the trap number for competition, I called it Trapped, because that was the name of the music. And there's a little girl, and she's homeless. I need to teach Maddie a lesson. She's not always going to get the lead or the best spot in the dance. You know, I asked that kid to do a solo, and she said no. So you know what, Maddie? You don't need to be featured in any of the numbers. Maddie, I asked you to do a solo. You said no. I'm giving this part to Chloe. She's switching Chloe and Maddie out. For what? For this trap dance. I wonder why, though. I don't know. To torture Maddie for not doing her solo last week. Oh, really? I think Chloe is really excited to show Abby that she can dance a featured role like Trapped and do it well. Abby's now giving away four scholarships to further your dance education. I think Chloe deserves the scholarship. Everyone's, Everyone's replaceable. Right.
especially you. We were in trapped rehearsal and Miss Abby switched Maddie and I's parts and now I guess I'm the homeless child, so I'm kind of nervous, but I don't want to not take that kind of opportunity. And one, two, three. Since I didn't do a solo last week, Miss Abby got mad at me and switched my part with Chloe and Trapped, and it's kind of sad for me because I really loved my part and I loved acting it out. I didn't think that was too bad, Chloe. Good job. Okay, ladies, let's get this, this down pat. This is our 2012 annual dance concert. We have lots of routines, quick changes. Go, John. My students need to be smart dancers. Nina, look over your shoulder. I call all the cues from the light booth in the balcony. All right, let's go with this from the top. Catherine's on stage. I'm wearing a headset, trying to communicate with Gianna and my stage crew. Everybody is waiting on my instructions on what move to make next. We have to get through the technical aspects of the show. The better the kids are when they come out and the smarter they are, the faster things move. At the end of the dance concert, we are going to present these scholarships on stage. The kids are doing their very best to impress me right up to the very second that these scholarships are distributed. red bra tops for the hip hop number. And I have red hats. So you're gonna have to figure out how these stay on. Now, girls, they're calling you down to the stage right now for the hip hop dance. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do it in this, and then later tonight, we're gonna run it in the costumes. Understood? Did you run that already? For lighting? Yes. So we're doing the hip hop dance first. Hurry up, throw a black leotard on in your boots. I'm in 15 numbers this year, and every single number I'm in has a quick change. I don't get how Abby expects me to make it on in time. Question about the hip hop dance. What? I was under the impression that Paige was just going to be doing upper movements, so arm did movements, I. and stuff. That's well, what I told her. She obviously was not just doing upper movements because she broke her boot. I'm rehearsing three shows in one day, and I am too busy for any mother or any kid to interrupt my plans. Is anyone in children in Elite Point? Peyton? No, that doesn't work. All right. I'm gonna need a minute to fix this, so let's just go with this hip hop number. You're in the fire with all the smoke. Abby, did you see the lineup that Peyton's in? She can't do that. No, <laughs> there's no way. J can you take care of her? We, we understand, we're fixing it, but we can't Let's fix it right this second. We have to wait till we have a break. I everybody, get that. Everybody here is getting paid. I get that, but okay. this is my schedule too that I have. I know, but you shouldn't even be in here because right now you're wasting my time. Leslie couldn't wait till I figured it out that we needed another number added in so the Peyton can make a change. No, this is just not all about her. It's about all the kids. No, I it's will... about whether she can make it on stage in one number. That's what it's about. Well, she That's better make it on stage in one she, number. If every <laughs> other number, you have her in one number before that with ballet. I just came up and asked you to correct the lineup. That's I know, all. but you have a smart ass mouth. And no, I didn't. You turned it into that way. You shouldn't be in here. This is off limits. I got what I accomplished, go, go. and now I will go. Thank go. you for changing it. No parents, write it on there. P-A-R-E-N-T-S. Maybe she can figure it out. Ladies, I need to remind you, absolutely no parents in the light box. Everybody up here is doing a job. I'm serious, ladies. That was it right there, that part right. Paige, there's really not a lot of footwork. Now, if you can't do the inverting your knee, or the digging or the beveling. You can still do from the waist up. Peyton's really drawing my eyes downstage. I didn't even look at the boot. I, but I'm not concerned about you seeing the boot. I'm concerned about the foot being broke in the boot. Our agreement was she could dance from the waist up. Well, then just do the arms, Paige. Modify it. So when you walk out to your spot at the beginning, let's take it from the top. Can't do that. No. Like, sorry. Don't do the feet page. Just do those arms big. 
Is she still doing like where she kneels down and goes to push up position and kneels back down and stands up and stuff? Because that's all right on the part of her foot that's broken. Kelly takes it upon herself to scream from the audience. Paige needs to sit down, her poor foot. She needs to sit down. Well, you know what? You can go home and sit down. Go over there on that part quickly. I have about two more minutes to spend on this. I don't want you to have to redo this whole dance. Paige just doesn't need to be in it. Am I allowed to come up there? No, I need to start again, Paige. Paige? She said it hurt. She's sitting down. She can't stand up. We're getting ice. OK. My agreement was for Paige to do the dance from the waist up. I mean, I had strict instructions from the doctor, no dancing for four weeks. I know you want to. But you, you can't injure like it more and not be able to do nationals. I have to step up being a mom. And Paige's health is way more important than being in a stupid dance. Well, what do you want to do? Do you want to try to change the dance? Do you want to modify it? Do you want to sit in the fire? Do you want to not do it at all? Do you want to get a new boot? It's her year-end dance concert. I know. I don't want her to spend the whole time sitting in the audience. I know. So if you're fine and dandy and you can go out there and you can do it and the boot's supporting you, fine. If you don't want to do it at all, fine. I'm OK with both. Honey, I just don't have time to re-choreograph a dance on stage from Well, that's what I'm saying. Away. I don't want you to have to re-choreograph it. I just, all right. I mean, if it comes to you having to change everything, she might as well just not do it. All right. On with the show. Why did she, why did she Yeah, I don't know. Not let her dance? Because, Leslie, she was supposed to only dance from the top oh, up and be a statue in the back. So right. why didn't she well, do that? I wasn't at rehearsal, and they were teaching it. I her. was at rehearsal, and she didn't speak up. I said it once, and they told me. I, I didn't hear you. Why did she show up for the rehearsal if you knew that's the only number they were practicing? Because she was supposed to be in the number, Leslie. Everybody knows that hip hop is a really hard dance. You know, you're up, you're down, you have to bend your, you know, you bend at the knees, you're hopping, you're jumping. And, and I'm a little surprised that she is still in it, being that Kelly pulls her kids out of um, team numbers time after time. I don't understand. If she's hurt, why was she supposed to be in the number? Abby wanted her in the recital. So she was supposed to stand in the back of the number and dance from the waist up at the fire. Were you one of the mothers busy? that was in there videoing it? No, I was not. OK, well, everybody else was. And if I would have known, I would have told you. I was there videoing. So were all these other mothers if they would have told you. I was hoping to not have to deal with Leslie this weekend. I have enough pressure on me at the dance concert right now. You know, I have a daughter with a broken foot. I have another one who has a bad back. And I just can't deal with Leslie right now. She's not supposed to be dancing. The doctor I get that, her. but I'm very confused after she had been in the rehearsal last night. I don't get. Leslie, it's none of your business. OK, Kelly. What I do with You know what? You Add that meeting to your list. You need AA meeting, and now you need to go and see a therapist. So now you got two meetings that you should be attending. Liar. Yeah. Oh, I'm don't a liar. Don't ask your daughter if she yes. really pushed my lie. No, I didn't. Go get my daughter and bring her in. Yeah, and, I, and I'll go get Diane Bass and go ask my daughter. Go ask your daughter if she pushed her. Kelly can never even elaborate on why Peyton supposedly pushed the page down. It's all lies. These women are brutal liars. They're liars. Let's go get them. Yeah. You're, li you're, all, you're a liar and let's go get liar. them. You bring her here. I'm not following you. I bring her right here. And you know what? Now you catch your best friend. She'll lie. Leslie and Peyton on this team, then she can have them. But I am not sitting in a dressing room and having somebody sit and attack me after everything I say. So if Abby wants Peyton, you can have her. And guess what? They're your friends, aren't they? See where that gets you, too, Melissa. First incident that I started not to trust you. Kelly, where are you going? I don't have any reason in this room. Down. And every once in a while, these women throw their little dig. I'm not going to sit back and take it. What are you going to do now? I'm going to go home. What about Brooke? I'm not doing it. With the recital? No. We'll call you after, OK? Can you please just tell Brooke to come out? Yes, I'll do it. I don't care. I'm here just for Peyton to dance. Right, so let it go in one ear, out the no, other. No, I'm not that kind of person. I don't have a problem with the drama. But when Leslie 
lies, every other word out of her mouth, mm -hmm. that's oh, when she I does have a lie. problem. She no, one lie. thing she has said has been true. I mean, it's, it's so she is definitely not coming back. I mean, I, I swear on my mother's grave. Everything that you and I have said is true. Now, that's not, what are you talking about? Our kids are good enough to go on that stage without a Highland on there and just dance the dance without Reed Blockett. Like, they get Reed Blockett right on stage. I'd be a flip. Oh, everybody does good. Okay, we'll miss you, girl. Okay, see ya. This Abby needs recital. to know. Because because this is her show. Decided. This is her reputation. We better go tell This is her show. Someone needs not to tell show. her. She's pissed. You know, I don't need it anymore. So you know what? She can have the upper hand. She got it. I'll leave. I'm done. We have a really big problem. Kelly and I kind of went at it, and she quit. And she took all her bags and left. So what are we going to do? If Kelly has a tantrum, she needs to walk away and honor her children's contracts. They were to be there from beginning to end. I feel bad about the girls. Tomorrow is the Abby Lee Dance Company's annual dance concert. Kelly better have those two kids here or else. After I heard that Leslie wasn't going to be back in the dressing room and wasn't going to be around me at all at the recital, I decided it was time to celebrate. <laughs> We're pouring drinks, we're enjoying the company and the eye candy. This actually turned out to be a really good night. Here, put this in your kitty. Thank you. And we had fun. I don't think I can do any more money. Money. After the week we've had, we all really just need a night to let loose. Thankfully, Leslie's not coming back. the day of the concert, and we're all excited. I think, you know, I have little butterflies in my stomach for the girls to make sure that I can do all these quick changes. Very, very exciting day. Yay! <laughs> the kids really would have been disappointed if your kids weren't here. That's why we're here. I was definitely of course, not I mean... gonna let Leslie run me out of the group. She's too combative and nasty all the time. Brooke, get over here. I wanna talk to you for a second. I went to rehearse, and you weren't around yesterday. Brooke needed to be here to run the cues. You can't let that happen again. If your mom gets in a fight with somebody and she wants to leave, you need to say, let me stay for the rest of the time, and Dad can come pick me up. I wasn't going to yes, come today, are. and this is why I'm here. I didn't even think. I just left. It's very, very important that you be on the money today. Every dance aficionado in Pittsburgh is going to be here. So it's imperative that you step out there and give me your best. I am not going to let these crazy mothers get in the way of my livelihood anymore. There are people lined up outside to get in. There could not have been a better turnout. There's a bit of a frenzy backstage with all these quick changes. I have an excellent crew, and the kids are thrilled to get on stage. I am not going to let those mothers interrupt one thing during this show. Rhonda, you have your notepad. We're writing all of the, the things down that we wouldn't want to do in our recital. Okay. I'm not expecting any type of real theme. I'm not expecting anything that is, I guess, Broadway style. I'm just expecting to see a recital or concert. I'm expecting to see just one number after the other happen. Oh my god, we're in the nosebleeds. And now, without further ado, I am about to present the award-winning Abby Dance Company in once in a lifetime. Girls, please listen. There's a ton of colleagues that are dance teachers that I'm sure are snooping around and looking for ideas. So let's make sure that we get out there and we do our very best. What about Paige? Paige, what's the deal with you? Are you ready to dance? Are you going to do it? Have to hit it hard. Show everybody that you can do it all. Get down there quick and make sure those hats are on tight. There's a hip hop number coming up. 
And for some reason, I'm just not thinking of Abby as a Grand Master Slam. So I'm really excited to see this. come out who are incorporating their jazz and trying to call it hip hop. I think that Light My Fire proved to Pittsburgh, if you want to learn hip hop, don't come here. Girls, what are you doing out there? It was like bum, but a bum, but a bum, but a bum. It was like a contagion getting to that hit. Part I told you to work on didn't get any better. And the ending that has to really be impressive once you hit the note, the music, boom, don't move. Come on, let's go. Chloe is playing the role that Maddie usually has. She better step it up because that role is important and this number is beautiful. When you get out there, you need to convince everybody in that audience that you are homeless. This is your moment. Make it your moment. I kind of felt a lot of pressure for Trout because I just got selected for the lead role. I only had a little bit of time to rehearse it, so I didn't want to be the one to mess up. Let's do it. We're having an issue. What's the matter, Kendall? I need to get ready. Settle like down. I know you're tired. We're all tired, no, sweetheart. No, and it's important to you. What? Why are you ripping your hair? I'm ripping right now. It's I okay. need to get dressed. the featured role in Trap this week is kind of a catch-22. I'm thrilled that she is finally getting this amazing role and a great dance. But on the other hand, Maddie has already performed this role. And so Chloe is always going to be compared to Maddie. So if anything goes wrong, Abby's going to throw it back in her face like, mm, Maddie was better. Trapped inside these four white walls, waiting for someone to call. Something's gonna have to give, and I don't know Rolls over Brooks back up to the beautiful arch, holds it, then down. I gave her a correction and she did it. Thank you, Chloe. was fabulous. And I think that she deserves to have more lead roles. You seen it up? Yeah. Candy Apple's dance recital is top notch, and Abby's recital is nothing to the degree of our recital. Yay! Congratulations. Fabulous performance. <laughs> you put on a wonderful show with Abby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was great. They did a great job. They were outstanding from beginning to end. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. She really wants Kendall on that pyramid. Jill, you know, you tried the whole gift thing with Abby before. Two dozen long stem roses, really? It's been a long few days. Like, you're making me a little sick to my stomach. Congratulations to you all. That's what doing a show is like. I think we may have gotten some new students from your performances, so I appreciate that. Remember. You're only as good as your last performance. Overall, I think our girls did 
did a fabulous job in the dance concert. They had a lot on their plates, they stepped up to the challenge, and they were beautiful. Overall, I think the dance concert was a success. Amazing, I mean, Abby has amazing kids and she's an amazing choreographer. She knows how to put a show together, that's for sure. We are giving cash scholarships away to further your education. And this was decided upon by the entire faculty. Our junior winner is Miss Maddie Ziegler. who the faculty feels is the most improved student in the Abby Lee Dance Company for the 2012 season, Miss Nia Frazier. I am so happy that Nia won the most improved scholarship. This, this is wonderful for her. This is a moment we have all been waiting for that Abby finally recognized what I've seen all along. Thank you all for coming. We will see you outside. Cap off the evening with a beautiful soiree out on the veranda. And this is a highlight of the dance concert. Hey, how you doing? I was very nervous about meeting with these alumni. I thought, oh god, I'm not even gonna recognize them. You know, but I really had a good time. Thank you. You were here last year, too. Abby, I need to know, did the alumni talk any bad stuff on me? I haven't talked to the alumni yet. <laughs> Had it been under different circumstances, I'm sure that every one of those alumni would have had a story about Kelly and how much they hate her. Was Kelly ever late? Yes! Did Kelly ever not show up? Yes! Was Kelly naked all the time? Yes! Is that woman delusional or what? Hi, nice Hi. to meet you. Hi, yes. nice Hi, nice to meet you, sweetie. We're looking for a new studio to compete. Where are you from? St. Louis. St. Louis? And I think that Kaya has something to offer your team. OK, well, we're having a little workshop at the studio. Mm -hmm. So why don't you come? You can come take a little tour of the studio, and she can take class, and I can observe her during class. So do you have room with your competition team? I always have room. There's never enough students. It's been an outstanding show, and now I want to sit back and relax and enjoy my evening. When all of a sudden, I hear this agitating, grating voice. We, you know, groom you into becoming part of our competition team. I'm footing the bill for this, and she was not invited. All I know is she has no business being anywhere near my customers. Technically, her dancers were amazing. But Great do you dancers. feel that, like, the steps are somewhat limited? Like, not a whole lot of choreography going on? You know what? I, I need to tell you, you sound like you would make a dandy apple. Yes, we are a little wilted because there wasn't a whole lot of air conditioning in there. There was air conditioning. There was just a lot of hot air. To this lovely I, show. I didn't know I you were have, invited. Yes, you invited us. We got tickets from you. Not for me. How did she get here? I don't see a broom in sight. No backdrops. Black curtain. No. No money on your rent. Come on, you gotta step it up. Did she fly in? Who knows? We have the violin behind the hall. We have the vendor. You guys glad I invited everybody and in? Then, and they're oh, all in the house. Listen, listen, she's the one that invited us. I invited Kathy because I wanted her to see how Kendall fits in with this team. Oh, Jill invited you. Them. I wanted them to see what we've all been up to. Your tickets are paper. Jill, use your brain. Why would she bring my arch rival enemy into my own show? To steal more ideas, to steal more music? We only saw five minutes of your show, and that was enough. So, but thanks for the great reception. You're welcome. Don't let the door hit you. Oh, honey, you can't afford it. 
Next on Dance Moms, where are the girls looking at? There's someone here. You're Kaya. Kaya, this is Nikaya. Nikaya, hi. So what do you guys think about me so far? Well, with your AKA of being black patsy, that's a like you're crazy. Paige just came to me and said, can she mark the fan kick? Because it hurts her supporting foot. I'm done! Take your new outsider and put her in and give her a chance. I got a name I want to call you too and not your own, but I'm trying to be respectful.